So this is the factory driver's heat air intake. And this is the shutoff here for the uh, for the inside and outside air. So I'm going to keep all that. Um, so I'm put an aftermarket heater in, uh, vintage air heater, possibly air conditioning, but uh, heater for sure. Um, <clears throat> and this piece here was the only one that was really rusted out, and I'm assuming it's because you know all the water and moisture and everything in the rain would just come shooting up here and hit this uh, this panel here and, and rust it out. So I'm going to re replace that with a piece of stainless. I'm um, pretty sure I can pretty sure I can form a piece of stainless to fit there and then just weld it in. Uh, and then on this side is where I needed so the reason the skin had to come off. I mean, I'm going to replace it with the smooth skin anyway, but <clears throat> I have to build a mount here. And somebody somewhere along the line replaced this piece here with a piece of uh, of angle. So I guess it was rusted out or whatever, and they replaced it with a piece of angle. So that's good because it's nice and heavy. And uh, so I'll, I'll bridge between these two uh, panels here, and the mount will go out. And that's the steering U-joint there, off the steering column. And the shaft has to go down into here. I'm not going to use that fitting there. I have a U-joint for that. But because this is a dual U-joint, swivels in two directions, or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, it's a compound U-joint. There needs to be a steady bearing here to hold it. So that's what I'll mount. Um, in here, I have the uh, <clears throat> I have a heim joint that I'll use, a one inch heim joint, and uh, yeah. Anyways, that's why this whole mess had to come off. Other than I was going to replace it with with uh, with smooth skin, anyways. So we'll do that tomorrow. It's getting late. All right, I'm working on the steering system here, and. Um, so that shaft is the bottom shaft that came out of the original steering column. What I did is it I turned it upside down, and this this um, U joint here used to be in the center, up uh, right about in here. Where it, it has a it, the steering column angles. Anyways, so I uh, it's the same spline and everything. So all I did is flip it upside down, put it onto the splines, and now I'm just going to cut it to length and uh, grind the flats on the side of it for, for the double D, uh, this, this U-joint here, I'll show you that a little later. Um, in Canada, and I assume virtually everywhere, it's Ill illegal to weld on steering components, so uh, they have to be bolted or whatever so this is splined and, and bolted uh, the other option is uh, the double D um, system which is uh, what the steering column is and that's what I got for a u-joint here uh, you can buy uh, this this is non like hot rod stuff comes the same way uh, you buy spline shafts in two inch increments and then you can just cut you know um, cut it to the exact length you need uh, I prefer the double D myself. Um, I just like the way it sounds, uh, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. Anyway, <laughs> uh, because you can just buy lengths of shaft and, uh, and just cut it to length. And, uh, so it's a lot easier to work with, I think, anyways, in my opinion. So anyhow, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just cut it to length and uh, fit it back in here, and I'll show you that process once I'm partway through it. All right, so we're out on the bench here now, um, and the way these things work, um, these double D system is it just has two flats. So I guess because there's a D. And there's a D, 
<laughs> they call it double D. So anyhow, and uh, these, so what I have to do is cut this shaft to length and then grind two flats on it. This is a one inch shaft, this is a one inch double D. So that uh, will slip right over top of it, except uh, I have to grind these two flats into it. Then this long screw here, what you do is you drill through through this shaft uh, about eh, all everything except you know all but the last eighth of an inch or so, and then you screw this this uh, uh, screw into it, and it jams it in there, and that's what locks it in place. That one. And then there's another little short one that just goes to the outside of the shaft at uh, 90 degrees to it. Uh, same thing on both ends. So this this uh, goes on to the uh, steering column. I have to do that with it as well. Just drill a hole in the uh, in the sh uh, the uh, steering column tubing. It's hollow though, so it's just a matter of drilling a hole in one side, and then it just comes up and and locks it against this side over here. So. Um, yeah, so these are the, I like these uh, double D setup as opposed to to the splined, but uh, the splined ones, um, you know, on an open hot rod or something like that, they, they do look nicer because they're, uh, you know, they're usually polished stainless steel. And so if it's all exposed, the the, um, the spline is, is nice uh, for something that's hidden. I like the double D shafting myself, but that's just my per personal preference. Anyways, I'll go and cut this to length and uh, get her all set up in there. All right, so I got it kind of mocked up in here. And let me see if I can get down here. There's the, what will be the steady mount. Right there, I just have to build a mount out to it as this moves around like that, which is not good. So I'll mount once I get that mounted, that'll hold it and uh, should be good. Back in a bit. So dad's down picking me up a one inch hole saw to. Cut uh, for them for that mount uh, here. And in the meantime, I'm just making up a filler panel for this uh, heater cold air intake. So I'm just going to make it out of stainless. Just bent it, put a 90 on it, and I got a. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but I've got to um, shrink it a little bit so that it'll uh, conform to that that uh, curve and then I'll uh, weld it in. Okay, and there's what we came up with for the steering column. Let me see if I can get in here a little better. That steady bearing there just holds the top end of the shaft. I'll spend some time prettying it up later. I have the uh, to cover this U joint down here. I have a a um, you know the factory piece that I'll polish and a and a billet. Uh, string shaft piece to put on there. I'll video that later, but I'm uh, not going to worry about that too much right now. I'm going to uh, make up a cover for that opening there and then start working on the skin on the outside. And there's what it looks like from a little Further back, um, I just have to clearance the holes there for the steering wheel a little bit. And then uh, there's the 
billet specialties, horn button that we'll use. I just have to uh, polish it all back up because it's been sitting on there for a year getting all dirty. Anyways. I can steer it. Yeah, I figured while I was at it, I might as well video what this mount looks like from the outside. <laughs> this panel was the uh, driver's fresh air vent. So it had, you know, it's open here and it had a um, uh, fitting on it just for a hose to go up to a uh, fitting on the dash. So I'm just going to uh, just cap that off so that uh, air, and, air and water and whatnot can't get in there. Put a cover on the inside like I say and then insulate that now because I don't need that uh, that air vent. So yeah, there you go. So I'm starting to do the wiring. Um, and I'm thinking that this is pretty, I don't know, tedious, detail-oriented type of job that I don't imagine the vast majority of you guys are going to want to watch. Anyways, so I'm thinking I'm not going to video it, but um, if if I'm wrong, if you know, if you guys, uh, if there's people that, that are interested in in this, then uh, leave uh, you know leave a comment. And if there's enough people that are that are interested in it, then I'll I'll video more. And if you know you're as I suspect not interested, <laughs> uh, then I won't bother. I'll just uh, video the start and um, and you know and then the finished product. So let me know what you want, uh, what you like, and uh, I'll do my best to. Uh, to make that happen.